Now, your storm track weather with meteorologist Eli Millard. Another clear and cool morning, a quiet morning right now. Looking at our Maeda cam, not a cloud in the sky, and uh, the same story in central Topeka as the dry air is still in place, allowing us to cool off quite a bit at night in the early morning hours. Uh, temperature right now 58 degrees, feels like 58. Look at the dew points in the middle 40s. That is dry air in place, and winds are now calm, but occasionally seeing a south breeze around five miles per hour. Cooler in our southern and eastern counties, 50 or 51 in Lawrence, 53 at Burlington, still 59 degrees in Emporia, and still in the 60s in our western and northwestern counties, 60 degrees right now at Clay Center and dry pretty much everywhere that you go. Dew points nearing the 30s at Junction City, very dry air in place. So despite temperatures warming up throughout today, the heat index will be below our air temperature, so it won't feel as hot. And despite temperatures getting near 90, will feel like the middle 80s. So still comfortable out there this afternoon, maybe briefly hot for about a 20 to 30 minute period. O overall looks great this afternoon. Winds are to the south, 5 to 10 miles per hour, a little bit breezier in Concordia, 20 miles per hour. At Concordia, so we're hanging on to a clear sky across northeast Kansas. A few showers trying to develop into our northwestern counties, but they are falling apart. May see a few clouds in the area, but overall quiet and the rain chances still pretty few and far between. As a quiet pattern in place, jet streams off towards the north and really has nothing to do with us, but tracking tropical storm Francine just off the southeastern coast of Texas that will eventually move towards the north and northeast. Right now, just a tropical storm. It will strengthen to a ca category one hurricane, eventually a category two hurricane as it looks to make landfall uh, right along the Louisiana coast. As it goes farther and farther inland, it starts to weaken, but you notice it stays off towards our east, and so we won't see a lot of the moisture with it. It'll try and cool us down a little bit as we go into Friday, but overall missing out on the rain associated with eventual Hurricane Francine. You can see all the hurricane warnings going on uh, around Lake Charles and the southern coast of uh, Louisiana and uh, many tropical storm warnings and hurricane warnings going across the eastern Texas coast as well. Again, doesn't really impact us too much. It'll try and generate some cloud cover and a little bit more moisture and a little bit of a cool down. That's pretty much it. A clear sky this morning and that's what we'll see this afternoon. Clouds stay off towards our north. Plenty of sunshine going into Wednesday. Lots of sunshine, increasing cloud cover as the tropical storm eventual hurricane starts to approach. And then uh, we'll see well, increasing cloud cover also on Thursday afternoon, primarily for our eastern counties. Most of the rain will stay off towards our east and into Missouri. Now, temperatures uh, tomorrow morning will be in the lower to middle 50s. And then Wednesday, upper 80s and again, lower 90s. And then Thursday, slightly cooler. Temperatures Thursday morning, upper 50s, lower 60s, and then middle to upper 80s on Thursday and a Friday. Then we'll start to see the effects a little bit more, cooling down slightly, but not by much. 90 today and tomorrow. It will not feel like 90, though. Heat indices will be in the middle to upper 80s. 87 also on Thursday. 84 is that slight cool down on Friday with the dry air in place. It will feel fantastic this weekend, and temperatures will hang out pretty much in the 80s and 90s for the next seven days.